What's up guys? Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Lumion tutorial for you. So I'm actually working on another tutorial where I compare Inkscape and Lumion, but I wasn't able to get it done today. So I wanted to create a quick tutorial um, for creating some curtains for Lumion. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into it. So a lot of you may remember that I kind of speed modeled this apartment the other day and uh, created a Lumion rendering from that. Well what I wanted to do real quick is just kind of show you how you can quickly add some like curtains or blinds um, to your model. Uh, most more curtains in this case. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off and I'm just going to model something really simple. So you could definitely get more complex in this if you wanted to, but I'm just going to draw a series of half circles um, inside of SketchUp. So in this case, I'm just going to draw a half circle and then I'm going to use the rotate tool in order to create a copy of that at kind of 180 degrees. And then I'm just going to use the move tool in copy mode to create that across. So I'm just going to make a copy of that. I'm going to type in like times five or times six and hit the enter key. That just copies this all the way across. And we're going to use the extension extrude tools, which I've been talking about a bunch, um, but that allows us to extrude an edge without it having a face or without it having any kind of thickness into a face. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the extension weld to weld that into a single curve. And we're just going to use extrude edges by vector, which is just a, uh, um, it's a tool contained in TIG's extrude tools, whoops, that allows you to extrude this edge um, into a face. And so I'm going to say no, I don't want to extrude that into, I don't want to explode that group, but now I'm going to take this and since we're sending this to Lumion, what we need to do is we need to apply some kind of a material to it. It doesn't really matter what that is because we're going to replace it once it gets over there. It just needs to be something unique. So in this case, I'm just going to apply, I usually do like this wallpaper or something like that. You can see how that doesn't even get mapped properly. And it really doesn't matter because we're going to replace it when we get it over into Lumion. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this view and we're going to open up our Lumion Live Sync. So I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to find Lumion Live Sync. And what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to save my model. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to click on the play button. What the play button is going to do is that's going to export this to Lumion. It's going to turn on live sync. And so since I have Lumion already open right here, uh, what we're going to have to do is we have to find some kind of a scene that we're going to put this in since it's already open. In this case, I'm just going to tell it to use, we're actually going to use probably the mountain range background because um, we may be seeing out this window. And so when we do this, this will load the scene and this will automatically export your model from SketchUp into Lumion. And in this case, it exported it a little ways away but that's okay we'll just fly over here into our building and you can see how in this case all i've done is model just the interior of this building nothing else and i've also got the grass turned on which i probably need to go ahead and turn off so we're just going to come in here and we're going to go to our landscape We'll go to our grass and we'll turn our grass off because we don't really want that coming through our building. And so specifically what I want to look at in this case is I want to look at this curtain, but I'm going to do a couple other things really quick as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my plant off. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to right click on it and I'm just going to hide it. And since we have live sync running, that's going to update inside of Lumion as well. So when I click in here, that's going to disappear. And one other thing I recommend is unless you really need it, turn off stop or turn off camera synchronization because that'll make this run a lot faster. So now what I have here is I have a what I have here now is I have my lamp, I have my curtain, and uh, I'm going to replace that plant in just a second. There we go. And so specifically what I want to focus on in this case is I want to focus on my curtain settings. Because right now you can see how this gets brought in and it's just blocking the window and you can't really see through it. So it has a texture applied to it from within SketchUp, but we want to go in and we want to replace that in our material editor. And you can see how since we applied a uh, custom material to this, we can just click on it and edit it. And so when we click on it, and edit it, that's going to allow us to change the material that this is made up of. And in this case, what we want to do is we could come in here probably and just edit this material. 
if we wanted to, and we could actually turn the uh, transparency on. So you could actually use your material here if you wanted to, to create your own um, kind of curtain in here. So you can see how by checking this box under transparency and adjusting that, you could make your own custom curtains. So, and uh, the amount of transparency you have in here is gonna affect um, is gonna affect how much light makes it through. But the other thing you can do is you can also go into your material library under indoor and you can find the option for curtains. There's actually a whole bunch of different kinds of curtains contained inside this library. So I can go through and I can select whatever kind of curtain I want to um, just by clicking between these different tabs. So um, you can either select ones like these from Polygon that don't, uh, they don't let light through at all or you can find the um, the ones with a little bit of transparencies that are actually going to allow light to come through. So it's kind of up to you. You can kind of make this whatever you want. And then I'm just going to do a quick test render so you can see what the result is of doing this. And just real quick, I'm going to add a couch and then a plant from Lumion's library. And then we'll go over into photo mode. Alright, and so what we're going to do now is I made a couple changes. I added a couch and a plant, and we're just going to go into our photo mode and just do an export. So in this case, we're just going to go in, we're going to go to photo mode, and for right now, I'm actually going to use the uh, Lumion style that I created um, back in my Lumion presets video. Um, you can use one of the other default styles as well, but I will link to this in the notes down below. And uh, one thing I want to do about with this is I actually want to turn the sun off and I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna add a real sky. So the real skies, if you remember, those are the, uh, the real skies are the Lumion HDRI files that you can bring in and you can um, basically adjust them and I think they give you a little bit more realistic lighting. But in this case, I'm just gonna bring the brightness up and the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to see what happens if I add the volumetric sunlight. So that basically gives you almost like particles in the air a little bit. So you can see I have the lighting from the real sky coming through here. You can see how this is kind of giving me kind of a particle effect in here. And based on the way this looks, I think it's probably gonna be a little dim. So I'm also gonna turn the exposure up a bit. So maybe to something like 0.6 or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and click the render photos button and we'll just pick render desktop and you can see how I've tried a few of these but I want to see how this one looks I'm gonna do curtains 9 we'll just call it curtains 9 and you can see how as this goes through this is actually like simulating the light traveling through the translucent curtain and you've also got kind of an interesting effect with uh, the sunlight coming through here that kind of thing so play around with this and see what you can come up with so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you used the curtains and the translucency or the transparency inside of Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.